Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to SL Prime. Today, we're going to be reviewing the iPhone 12 mini's battery life. Starting with the numbers, the minimum I got for this phone is about four and a half hours. So it may sound like it's not a lot at all, but I used it pretty heavily that day. I did some Geekbench runs, I did some 4K 60fps video recording, I played some games, and that's how I ended up with that number. Now for my average days, which include a little bit of picture taking, some social media such as YouTube watching, Instagram scrolling, checking your email, etc. Like all the basic tasks you would expect to do on a phone. I got about six and a half hours battery life, depending on the day. So that's actually pretty good for a mini sized phone. And I expected a little bit less actually. So I'm, I am pleasantly surprised. Now, one thing I want to talk about the phone is the low power mode. If you have this phone, I would say turn it on all the time. There's no need to just keep using the full power like because you see the chip inside this phone is the same one as the 12 pro maxis and that's a lot of power you don't really need to use it to the full potential unless you're doing gaming or video editing but no one really edit videos on their phone so i think leave it on all the time hey siri still works see i just turn it on and it's on low power mode. So if you're an iPhone 12 mini user, I would suggest you to turn on that low power mode all the time, unless you're gaming. Now, one of the important aspects you might need to understand about this phone is the battery size in milliamp hours. So the phone has a 2,227 milliamp hour battery, which is approximately 400 milliamp hours bigger than the iPhone SE. And if you've seen my video on that iPhone SE 2020 battery review, my verdict was that it just isn't good enough. So with the extra 400 milliamp hours, it's gonna push you to that usable level and it's actually better than usable. So the 400 extra milliamp hours definitely pushed it to a territory so that it's actually good. But the one worry I have is in the future, is it gonna stay good? And why am I asking that question? Well, basically, as time goes on, the more you charge and discharge your battery, it degrades a tiny bit each time. So the smaller the battery, the faster the whole cell would degrade. So if you have a big phone like the iPhone 12 Pro Max or even the 8 Plus, it's gonna last much longer than the regular sized 8 or in this case, the mini variant. Okay, what is the final conclusion? So basically, for many, many people, this phone is going to have no problems with battery life at all. And for the small percentage of heavy gamers and video recorders, I don't think this is the right phone for you, especially considering other specs such as screen sized. I would just go with a different phone, period. But if you are planning on having this phone for a long time, I would keep in mind about the size of the battery. It's smaller than many, many phones, so it's gonna degrade much faster. So you should probably ready to grab your wallets out and buy the next year's mini phone. On that note, hope you guys smash the like button before you leave, and of course, I'll see you guys later. Peace.